Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations, and so much more. Today I'm here at Kaladesi Island State Park, which is an island that is only accessible by boat, located in Dunedin, Florida. This island offers three miles of pristine beaches and is a great place for shelling, swimming, snorkeling, paddling, hiking, boating, as well as boat camping because the marina offers overnight docking with electric and water hookups. Take a look. I started my voyage at Apollo Beach from where I headed southwest towards St. Petersburg and then turned and went northwest through the Intracoastal Waterway until I got to Honeymoon Island and then headed south just for a little bit to get to Kaladesi Island State Park. boat slip this is number 30 and I did reserve this online it has electric and water hookup and I'm right here on the end check out the marina you can reserve a couple of slips in advance but the rest is on a first-come, first-served basis. You can access the island by ferry boat, which is coming in right now. It docks right here, and you can catch it on your way back out at the end of the day by waiting under that pavilion for it to come and pick you up. So if you're interested in taking the ferry, you can catch it at Honeymoon Island State Park and there's the ferry route all the way to Kaladesi Island State Park. Right across the marina is a little cafe, concession stand area with a gift shop and the restrooms. Let's go check it out. The ranger station is also located up there. Let's check out the concession store and gift shop. So you can get all kinds of snorkel, beach items, toys, inflatables t-shirts, souvenir mugs, 
some cups, some Christmas ornaments. Beachwear. Of course, there's the cafe with all the food. And if you grab something to eat, there are plenty of picnic tables under this covered pavilion for you to enjoy your food. You can just sit back and sit on some of the swings they have here facing the water, enjoy the water views, or you can picnic at one of the many picnic pavilions, lots of picnic tables, a couple of grills. So you can even do some kayaking, paddling here, and you can, you can rent some kayaks here. Looks like the trail starts over there. At the back of the concession, there's a sign for the nature trail, so let's head on down that path. There's some showers right here, a couple of hooks to hang your clothing, shower off after a day at the beach. Throughout the park, you'll come across these signs that say caution, rattlesnakes common on islands. So keep your eyes open for rattlesnakes. So here's a map of the trail. It's a two and a half mile easy hike. And Island Trail, Caledizi Island, was created from shifting sands by the action of wind and water. It is one link in a chain of barrier islands that parallel the Florida coastline. A leisurely one and a half hour round trip will lead you through a pine forest to a natural waterhole. You may return by the same route or via the beach. Let's check it out. As you can see, it looks like they've recently done a burn to kill some of the undergrowth. Shaped by fire, so prescribed fire is what they've used here and it, they use it to mimic the natural forest fires which once occurred across many Florida habitats. And many plants and animals depend on periodic fire for survival. So it's been a pretty easy hike, very enjoyable so far. Nice wide trail, soft ground, pretty much shaded, nice and quiet. The ground is now a little sandy, but still soft and a little more open and sunny. Look at these animal tracks. Looks like maybe raccoon just walking along the side of the trail. I'm just about just under half a mile in on this trail walk and this is the second bench I've come across so you can always sit down and enjoy the day. Take a little rest if needed. At just a little over half a mile in, you'll come across this fork in the road where you can go straight ahead for the hammock loop and the beach trail, or you can take a shortcut to the beach. What's really nice is they have this really big picnic table right here, and you can just pack a lunch and have a really nice, quiet, secluded, private lunch all to yourself. That is a beautiful cactus with some blooming flowers. All right, let's continue on our hike.
take a look at that armadillo. It's coming right at me. The trail is now quite shaded again and there's lots of pine needles on the ground and you can hear what I would assume are little lizards scurrying around in the brush. Hopefully they're just lizards. <laughs> went in the hole. All right, so I've made it to the harp tree and it's right there. Now this distinctive slash pine is unusual because of its double trunk. And it says down here that for over 130 years, visitors have walked the island trail to view the harp tree. Records of this landmark tree, a favored setting for taking pictures, date back to the late 1800s. That is an old tree. I made it up into the harp tree. Just a little further ahead down the trail from the harp tree, you come to the sign that leads you to the homestead ruins. Look at the trail. I love the hanging moss. Really pretty. This is it. The ruins of the Scherer homestead. Looks like some of the fireplace is still left. Well, spring is definitely here. Look at all the blooming flowers. The cactuses are blooming. Look at this cluster of flowers over here. Another flowering cactus to the left. Okay, let's head on towards Beach Trail and Cat's Eye Pond. And here's a look at Cat's Eye Pond. A little bird on the sand over there. Just after Cat's Eye Pond, the beach loop leads me right to the beach. Lots of boats out there today. Lots of shells. As you can see, this beach can get quite crowded during the weekends and holidays, especially right by the beach access ramps right off of the marina. But if you're willing to walk a little ways down, it gets less crowded and you can have some privacy. So I'm back here at the trailhead. I've done a total of 3.8 miles, but I did go a little bit off the beaten path. I did head on towards the historic ruins 
and there were lots of wildlife and flowers to be seen all along the trail. It was a great enjoyable hike. going to show us where the good slip is. He thinks this one's better. So All right, time to do some paddling. Love the canopy. Look at the tunnel system in here. It's all shaded and quiet. Nice big white bird right here on this kayak trail. Ah, found something to eat. I have to say, so far, this is pretty much one of my favorite paddling trails. like we're getting to open water. So much for the shade. I'm here at the Calabisi Island State Park Beach and I'm going to try to walk on down to Clearwater Beach, so let's get started. There are some areas that you will have to walk in the water depending on the tide, or you can use the sand trails.
after about 1.6 miles, just a little over one and a half miles, you'll come across some houses right on Clearwater Beach. And as you walk towards here down the beach, look out for some really nice shells and sand dollars and all kinds of other things. So I walked about two miles down the beach and you can see there's some big high-rise buildings down there. And it's getting kind of late, so I am going to head on back. Enjoyed my stay here at Calabese Island State Park. Love that there was lots of shelling to do. You could do some paddling. I really enjoyed that paddle trail. And most of all, I love that I could do some boat camping. So thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for many more videos. Bye for now.